What's going on everyone? CJ back here with a brand new episode of the Madden 24 St. Louis Sentinels franchise. That is right. Welcome back. Everybody on the team hates us, guys. <laughs> that is right. Everybody on the team hates us after that uh, crushing loss to the Giants last week. Morale is down in the locker room, and it is definitely impacting players' overalls. As you can see, all of the red arrows dropping our players' overall and making this team even worse than we already are except for curtis samuel randomly who is uh feeling pretty good about himself he did have a good game last week so maybe that's why one very important thing to know a bright spot on this offense is we do have brandon scherf back finally he is going to be a welcome addition after missing the last four weeks i believe and i am all for it because sam howell has been under duress as of late and he's now playing very good. We've starting to see, you know, Sam Howe played really good the first part of the season. He was leading the league in passing yards, passing touchdowns, interceptions were down. But we're starting to see the true Sam Howe come out. And having Brandon Scherf to protect him on the right side and open up the running game is going to be really good. Defensively, we are still without Mike linebacker Cody Barton. So I went and signed Jamie Collins, a crafty veteran, the middle linebacker, to help bolster, uh, you know, that middle of the field that we're always getting torn up in. Jamie Collins been in the league for 11 years. He's been doing the dang thing for a while. I believe he was on, correct me if I'm wrong, the page, one of the Patriots teams that won the Super Bowl. He was with Cleveland for a little while. He's bounced around, you know, ever since. But adding Jamie Collins is going to be something i mean it's not gonna be like a you know a game breaker or he's not gonna solely take us to the playoffs or anything like that but it's definitely gonna be a welcome addition we're still working on contract negotiations with chase young and kendall fuller so i might try to square up a couple of those today and i'm still undecided on the future of deron Payne. um he hasn't really shown me too much so far this season he's gonna have a huge cap hit next season and the season after hitting for almost 26 million dollars so he may be used to potentially get some draft stock or move up in the draft boards i'm really not too sure but still gonna hold off on chase i gotta make sure this guy stays healthy this season yes i do want him on this team but he's you know very young only his third season in the league but he's already missed a ton of time with injuries, so I'm going to wait. I'll probably end up trying to bring Chase back, but I'm going to wait for now. And Kendall Fuller, though, we're going to give another crack at Kendall Fuller. We tried to bring him back, I think, last week or the week prior, and he turned us down. I offered him a pretty good contract, too. Two years, $30 million, but again, he has no interest in being here. And I'm not going to super break the bank to try to get Kendall. I'll give it one more try. We'll go two years, $32 million. And if he doesn't accept this, we might just have to move on from Kendall. But he does accept it. Okay, so a two-year, $32 million is going to have $16 million cap hit each season, which is a lot. But I mentioned this prior. We need a cornerback number one, whether or not it's Kendall Fuller or we go out in free agency and get one. We're going to need one regardless. And looking at the other players, um, well, seeing as how Curtis Samuel is happy, he was emo earlier in the season. If you guys remember that, he had a kind of like one of those locker room scenarios, challenges or whatever. We made him happy. He's loving life now. He's got a green air. We also tried to bring him back too, and he turned it down as well. We did uh, two years, I think, so maybe maybe we'll just go three years. I mean, that'll ha have him here till he's 30. He's looking for three years, $28.6 million. Let's just offer him three years, $31 million. See if he takes that. Okay! And he does. So Curtis Samuel is now back on the team as well. Thursday night primetime here against the Dallas Cowboys. And we got a short week and we have not played the Dallas Cowboys up until this point. This is the first time we're going to be seeing them, a fellow NFC East rival. So obviously we have a short week. So much, not so much time to create an elaborate game plan. With that being the case, I want to stress how important it is that we're fundamentally sound. Logan Thomas says definitely with so little recovery time, a lot of guys are going to be less than 100%, which can lead to some sloppy football and some mental errors. Coach Small says exactly, and we are better than that. Yes, we are. Stress to the team, Logan. It's imperative that we take care of the ball. Cough, cough, Sam Howe. Cough, Ooh. cough, Brian Robinson. And we need to beat the Cowboys and commit one or fewer turnovers, which the last few games 
we haven't committed less than one turnover in the first quarter or the first half. We probably had two turnovers in the first half in these last couple of games. And we're doing it against the likes of Micah Parsons and a very high-powered Dallas Cowboys offense. So this one may be tough. I have not been looking forward to this game. The Dallas Cowboys are Madden's favorite team, although that's mostly in simulation. But taking a look at their squad, we know they got Dak Prescott. No more Zeke Elliott. Tony Pollard is here. Shout out to the Austin Armadillos franchise. Anybody who watched that series, Tony Pollard was our halfback. Deuce Vaughn, the five foot six rookie, is also backing him up as well. Andy Janovich, very good fullback. And the wide receiver core is stacked. They got CD Lamb, they got Brandon Cooks, Michael Gallup, Romeo uh, Dobbs what? randomly somehow made his way from Green Bay to Dallas. Don't know how that happened. And then also Jalen Tolbert. So very good wide receivers. And then tight ends, it looks like uh, they just poached Ooh. Chicago's tight ends. Also former Packers too. Mercedes Lewis, who's more of a blocker, always has been. I guess he's going to be their starter. And he'll probably catch lots of passes. But in real life, that is not his game. And then Big Bob Tunyon is here along with Jake Ferguson and Luke Shoemaker. So tight end room, a little bit different than what it looks like in real life. Offensive line is very good. Tyron Smith, a superstar. Chuma Idoga is here. Tyler Biotish, the center is here. Zach Martin, probably the best in the business at the right guard position. And then also Terrence Steele, the right tackle. Defensively, Demarcus Lawrence is here, but he is injured, so he will not play. So rookie Viliami Fioko out of San Jose State is going to be taking his place. Very interesting. This is the guy that uh, is going to be giving me nightmares for the next few days, I presume. <laughs> Micah Parsons, got to always watch him, probably throw some double teams on him as well. Defensive tackles, they got Osa Odigazua and Mozzie Smith, the rookie. Linebackers, Anthony Barr, also shout out to the Austin Armadillos. He was our linebacker. Leighton Vander Esch, the best coverage linebacker in all of Madden. I don't know why, but every time I play the Cowboys, Leighton Vander Esch just tears me apart. And then Justin Houston, 13th year in the league. He's here as well. Secondary is also good. Stephon Gilmore and Trayvon Diggs. So no matter which side of the field we throw to, picks could be flowing. And they want me to throw to get one or fewer turnovers. So, uh, yep, let me go to the medicine cabinet right now and get the Vaseline because we are going to need it. Malik Hooker is here as well. Good free safety. Donovan Wilson, pretty good strong safety. Kicker, they got Brett Maher and then Brandon Aubrey is here as well. Okay. And then Brian Anger, the punters. So a very stacked Dallas Cowboys team. And as I mentioned, they always Madden loves them. It's Madden's favorite team. So when we talk about playing the Dallas Cowboys, I think that we have to focus on their receivers. As we see here, they score a lot of points and they're third in the league in pass yards. So we are going to make defending the deep pass our game plan. And I'm also going to drop down to half pads because now that we're starting to get some guys back and get healthy, the last thing I want is to lose anybody in practice. Got to go blitz counter too, man, with Micah Parsons. We see they got 25 sacks on the year. So that is going to be something that... Is going to be on full display here, I am sure. And we got to we gotta win the turnover battle. That's what our scenario said in the locker room. That's what Coach Smalls wants us to do. And whatever Coach Smalls wants us to do, we're going to try to do. Yes. Big upgrade for the St. Louis Savior, Terry McLaurin. And of course, Terry, it's got to be deep threat, man. I need to see some more of those. Terry beating his man on press. Give me something for release. We don't get anything for release, but I will take... Deep route running, medium route running, acceleration, those are all very good. I want to see some more of those deep bombs to Terry. I want to see it the game like when uh, he was third all-time in, in receiving yards a game and almost broke the record. That's what I am going to see. So we are 5-6 and six now, guys. Last place in the NFC East, and it's not going to be an easy one today as we are taking on the first place team. And I think we are going to rock the alternate uniforms today with the blue pants. I really like that. Hey, if you guys are fired up for some more St. Louis Sentinels content, please make sure you like the video, subscribe. If you're not subscribed, share it with your friends. I am in the process right now of applying for the basic level of monetization on YouTube. Thank you guys so much 
for helping me get there. It's not the big one where you get paid for the ad revenue, but it's the small one where you got to have 500 subs and 4,000 watch hours. And I really appreciate it because I am trying to make YouTube my full-time job so I can bring you guys a plus content each and every day so please like the video subscribe to the channel and without further ado let's get down to AT&T Stadium in Arlington Texas and get ready for the game Joey Sly gonna kick this thing off here at AT&T Stadium so we are gonna see Dak and the boys first Tony Pollard CD Lamb and all those guys maybe <laughs> oh a flag too probably holding gonna bring that one back 10 yards which I will certainly take it's always holding on kick returns but I kind of like we've been getting the ball first a lot lately and I kind of like the other team getting the ball first because I like getting the ball after halftime so uh, not too upset with that Dak gonna come out pistol to start this thing out just so many weapons I don't even know where to look and defend well there's gonna be an opening drive catch there by Brandon Cooks for nine I mean there's just so many ways Dak can go he can go to the ground. He can go to the run. He can escape himself. We know that Madden loves its Cowboys. So, um, you know, lots of things going to have to be a focus today. I think that we're up for the challenge, but it's not going to be an easy one. Going to be a give to Pollard. Pollard with a nice carry. Quincy Williams was able to get him down, but it's a gain of eight. Dallas moving pretty good on their first two plays. We'll see Dak now in single back. <laughs> That gonna be a oh look at Chase look at Chase back there to suplex Tony Pollard that is what I'm talking about Chase if you want this big contract extension a you got to stay healthy but B I need you to start getting either some sacks or some TFLs or both if you get both you'll definitely get a contract so gotta watch Dak here probably gonna be a passing situation which it is he can go virtually anywhere he is gonna elect to go to Michael Gallup and it's only gonna be a gain of about four. And we got the Cowboys now in a big third and 10. Now, that doesn't mean anything when you're playing a team like them. But you got to figure it increases your odds. We are going to shade inside on this one. Dak actually coming out single back. Definitely not going to be a run, though. No, it's not. Where is he going to go? It's going to be another good catch by Brandon Cooks. And what did I say? Dak starting out three for three for 37 yards. It didn't even matter that we got him in third and long on that one because Brandon Cooks was wide open in the middle of the field and this one could be a long game try setting a little heat at Prescott and Pollard see if it does anything oh oh we got we got back there with Jamin Davis what a catch by CeeDee Lamb we did get back there with Jamin Davis but Dak Prescott was able to elude him CeeDee Lamb caught it in a very tight window too so just got to give hats off to the Cowboys on that one I mean we definitely didn't make it easy for him but they were able to still convert. Uh, we're going to try pressure again here because I like the fact that Jamin Davis was able to get back there last time. We'll try to see if we can do it again. Jamin, free runner! Again, almost got to Prescott. Cam Curl was there to break it up, but Jamin Davis on back-to-back -back plays, man, got very close to Prescott. Prescott was able to get it off in the nick of time. But if that's what we're going to see from our linebackers today, Sign me up. All right, another third down here. We'll see if we can force the Cowboys into a field goal and or a punt. I would be happy with either result. Where's Prescott? And Prescott sacked. Deron Payne. That was a coverage sack because we had all the routes locked up. But how about Deron Payne? Maybe he heard me chirping at him pregame about this cap hit he's going to get. And he's like, oh, shoot, that's right. I'm about to get paid a uh, healthy sum of money here in the offseason, so I need to start making some plays. Sam Howell, 25 touchdowns, 17 interceptions. So that touchdown-interception ratio is starting to diminish a little bit. It was very good to start the season off, and it's kind of starting to diminish here, and we got to always look at Micah Parsons. Double teams on him probably for the game, good portion of it, We'll come out play fake, though. Curtis Samuel's wide open. Going to get it to him. Look at Samuel. Just got that contract extension, baby. And he played great last week as well. Staying ahead of the sticks, too. Staying ahead of the sticks is also going to be key in this one. We cannot find ourselves getting in second and forevers. Nice run by Robinson picking up five. And we get an early first down. Looks like McLaurin will be matched up with Trayvon Diggs for this one here. We're going to go screen pass to Robinson. Just want to get some completions under Sam Howell's belt and trying to get some blockers there. It was okay. Nothing really materialized. I, I will definitely take 
a pickup of six. Again, staying ahead of the sticks. That's what we're trying to do here. And not put Sam Howe in unfavorable situations where he is asked to do too much. That's what I think it really comes down to. So we'll uh, give it to Robinson here on the outside run. Might have... We can get some good blocks. He might have something here on the outside. And we actually do get some good blocks. Got to get past Stephon Gilmore. We do. It's a nice enough gain from Robinson. And we pick up the first down again. This drive is starting out pretty good. We're on the 45-yard line, close to midfield. We're going to come out pistol here and just looking to keep this thing going, which if we can get it to Terry there, Terry got jumbled up on the routes there. He would have been breaking free, but... I think it was the middle linebacker or somebody kind of stopped him up a little bit. Um, Let's go screen pass again. It's a coach suggestion. We're going to go screen to Antonio Gibson again. Just trying to do some short, safe completions. Let Sam Howe start feeling himself a little bit. Need some blockers. There we go. We got him. Not going to pick up the first, but I will take third and four. Terry is getting pressed, but that's not going to be my first. I'm going to look and see if he beats Stephon Gilmore on press. If not... I'm not, I'm not even going to actually. We're just going to check it down to John Bates. That's the safe option. He's got Stephon Gilmore and oh, he's got Trayvon Diggs on him, actually. And uh, I'm not going to be looking to take too many chances with that, you know. If it's there, it's there. Cool. I'm not saying I won't go that way, but I don't care if Trayvon shows me press. It's going to take a lot for me to really test that today. So short, safe completions. No one's getting open. I don't like anything. Sam's going to take off. We got Micah Parsons. Bearing down on us and just going to dump it off. Second and 10 here. Going to come out shotgun. Bunch to our right. Hit him with a little play action. Who wants to get open? There's Curtis. There's Curtis. Just got the contract. Can you get in the end zone? So close. So close. But Curtis Samuel. Now he's talking a little bit of trash to Stephon Gilmore. But let me go ahead and tell you. Shut your bitch ass up. <laughs> we are already on the four yard line, guys. So got to pay this thing off with some points. Brian trying to shift his way through traffic didn't really get any help from our offensive line and it's going to be no gain on the play about a minute and a half to go looking to draw first blood can we do it with terry nice break up there wow that wasn't even stefan gilmore or trayvon Diggs. that was malik hooker and really don't want to settle for a field goal on this one but it's looking like that might be what happens i don't know we're going to try to pick this up here. Obviously, I need Brian Robinson to block. Got to watch Micah Parsons there. We're going to go ahead and throw a double team on him. No, I don't want to throw a double team on the defensive tackle. It's got to be Micah Parsons. Let's pick this up. It's Dotson, Thomas, maybe one of those guys. We're going to try Dotson. Sid. <laughs> Leighton Vander Esch, best coverage linebacker in Madden. Yeah, he stalls the drive. We come away with no points. I don't know. I I saw him and I saw Dotson and Thomas on some drags. And uh, Leighton Vander Esch just kind of played them both. So there's where I initially see Dotson, right? I initially see Dotson right here. It's a tight window, but we could definitely get it in there. Sam is also cocking back to throw. And really, I think... Logan Thomas just kind of got in the way. Leighton Van Der Esch was able to pick it. Just like that, that's how our drive ends. Very unfortunate. We come away with no points, and I just talked about it. Playing the Cowboys, you got to put up touchdowns, or at least, I mean, at least field goals, right? Anything. Another sack. Look at Deron Payne. Look at Deron Payne. This dude came to play today. Two sacks already here in the first quarter from Deron Payne. How's about that? I am liking what I'm seeing. And is that Payne again? Is that Payne again? No, that's Jonathan Allen. Okay, I was about to say. Surely we can prevent this, right? We're guessing pass and we are shading over top. Just don't get beat deep. All you got to do is not get beat deep. That's the only thing. And did we just get... Oh, <laughs> Press guy had him, but he just missed it. God, Derek Forrest rocking the baby, but I think you got rocked to sleep, buddy, because I think the press guy just missed that one. So we dodge a bullet by throwing the pick. Dallas does not pay it off with points and going to give us another chance. So 
Let's just not have a repeat of how last drive went, please. That would be great. Jahan Dotson, don't fumble it either because I would cry. Third and four. This is definitely four down territory here. Definitely because we're kind of in no man's land. So regardless of what happens, it is four down territory. Look at Samuel hanging on and fighting forward. Oh my God. Samuel got that money and he don't know how to act. I love it, man. It looks like he spent some of that money, that guaranteed money on some steroids or something because he is just powerful catching power catches and running over people. Okay. I like it. I hope that he I hope that he didn't purchase steroids with that money because that would be very bad. And uh, if Coach Smalls found out, oh, oh, oh boy, let me tell you what, Curtis, let's just not uh, think about that. Let's think about running the ball with Brian Robinson. Please, need a good one here. Brian looking for the cutback, picking up seven, but our tackle Andrew Wiley is hurt, which uh, is not good because we are thin at offensive line. We did get Brandon Scherf back. So that is very good. Happy to have him back. But we are still very thin on offensive lines. So we got to be careful there. Second and three. We're going to come out single back. Who wants to get open? I still don't. No, no, no. I didn't mean to throw that. Oh. <laughs> wow. I need to simmer down here, guys. If we don't get this. I'll probably just take the points. Um, Let's put Terry on a slant. I want to try to. Draw those mics away to maybe hit Diami Brown, which I think we're going to do. There we go. Diami had a good game last game. Scored a touchdown and had a couple other key conversions. And now we're back inside the red zone, guys. So come on. Um, that's not good. Andrew Wiley won't return. And we're going to bring in Taylor Larson. Try an outside run to Robinson. Need some good blocks. Oh, my God. Robinson's running the wrong way. You're running the wrong way. Micah Parsons. I, even, I think I even double teamed him. Oh, no, 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 no. That is not good at all. And I think that we have to go to my uh, coveted PA cross out of the single back X bunch nasty once per game because it's second and 18. We got to find the end zone here. And I just don't know if anything else is going to work in this situation. Double team on Micah Parsons looking for Jahan Dotson and or Curtis Samuel. Who wants to get open? It's got to be Samuel, right? 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 Yes! Thank you, Samuel. Thank you, PA Crosser. Out of single back bunch. Nasty. How about Curtis Samuel? Round of applause. Also, I don't know what this is. I'm holding a controller, so I can't really clap. But Curtis Samuel. Sometimes, all you got to do is throw him a little bit of ducats. And then they start acting a fool. And we go up 7 nothing on a high-powered Cowboys offense. Did I just miss that? Nope, I did not. Thank you. I would have been PO'd. I am very impressed, though, from what I've seen from our defensive line here. Deuce Vaughn is now in the five foot six rookie, and he is met by a definitely not five foot six individual, more like six foot five. Get in my belly! Deuce Vaughn is gonna feel that one in the morning. He is a very, uh, put it in perspective, I'm five foot six, and I'm short, and, and I've always been short. Deuce Vaughn is 5'6", kind of reminds me of uh, like Eric Sproles or, so, or Darren Sproles, I'm sorry. He was a short guy too. Dak, where's he going? Where's he going? He's taking off. Almost got sacked again. So this defensive line and the defense in Dak, what are you doing? Why, why was he signaling for a first down? What? Other one, guys, we're guessing pass. We're shading inside here. Dak is coming out empty, so we'll see where he decides to go. Got tons of weapons on the field, and he's sacked again. Deron Payne with three sacks. Oh, man. Deron is, uh, I was really thinking about trading him uh, to get, there's two, a quarterback and a tight end is projected to go within the top 10 in the draft, somewhere in that range. And we're not going to be able to get them both organically. So we're going to have to do something to move up. And I was really thinking about using Deron Payne as that piece. But, I mean, if you're going to be out here getting three sacks, man. Second and three here. Let's go Brian Robinson up the middle. Brian, he's running pretty good. They, they don't say first down. Wow. They say third and one, but it is Robinson all day. Got an ID up late in Vander Esch. Here is the mic. I think we can probably pick this up in the middle if we get some good blocks, which we don't. Wow. DeMarvian Overshone just shot through there. 
the rookie, and we really we got to punt. I mean, as much as I want to go for this, can't give Dallas the ball on our 36-yard line. We we definitely can't do that, and I could probably pick it up, maybe even on like a quarterback sneak, but our defense is playing really good. Dallas' offense is not, surprisingly, and I think uh, nice moves there by Pollard. It's the right move to punt as much as I hate to do it. I can't believe Brian Robinson, DeMar DeMarvian Overshone, the rookie from Texas, the Longhorn, just shot through there and stopped us for no gain. Okay, second and 15 now. Dak coming out three wide receivers to his right. Pollard behind him. It's going to be a play fake. Where's Dak going to go? He's scrambling around looking for somebody. Going to take off. We're also playing very good coverage too. These high-powered receivers, C.D. Lamb and Michael Gallup and Brandon Cooks, I feel like they've started off playing really good, and we've kind of shut them down ever since. I don't know. That's just kind of the feeling that I get here. So Dak and another third down. Where's he going to go? That time it was a nice catch by Brandon Cooks. He was able to hang on to it and pick up the first down. Two-minute warning, vastly approaching. Three seconds to go until that, and Dak is going to throw it to Michael Gallup, but... It was for no gain, not in field goal range, so they would have to punt if we are able to get them off the field and we came out nickel blitz. So we're going to be sending nickel blitz at Prescott, and that's, oh, it's batted away. It's a breakup. It was a breakup. That was Brandon Cooks, who has hauled in multiple tough catches in this one, but it was good defense at the end, and how about this? Cowboys with a goose egg on the scoreboard, but... They are giving us all these opportunities, so we have, we have to make pay this off. Double dip scenario going into the locker room would be huge. Need a slow, methodical drive here. Want to kill some clock and also get into scoring range. So we're going to go screen pass to Gibson. Got to make sure we get this thing off in time. Gibson with some space. Stay in bounds. Let that clock tick. I am totally cool with that. Come on, Brian. You can do this, Brian. You can do this, Brian. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Now we're going to call a timeout and reevaluate. Let's come out. Trips to the right in the shotgun formation. Who wants to get open? That could be Terry. Nice bat down there. Really want to score here. Who wants to get open here? Um, okay. Logan Thomas. Oh, that's, that's a terrible pass. Oh, my God, Sam. I have to show you guys, man, that I am not taking a single bit of credit for that one. I, th that was a perfect read, a perfect play call, a perfect route by Thomas. I mean, look where Thomas is when I throw it. I didn't lead it or nothing. And look how far ahead <laughs> the pass is from Sam. I mean, I'm telling you guys, as soon as we get a competent quarterback, this Sentinels team is going to be great. But Sam Howe is just literally the bane of my existence right now. Defense is balling out, really not even for the Cowboys. Our defense is balling out, 100% playing great. And Sam Howe is just making us look way worse than we actually perform. So I'm not going to change anything going into the half. I'm not going to make any adjustments. I like the game plan that we came out in, but right now, it's just Sam Howe is the outlier. Everybody is playing great. But Sam Howell is the outlier. Got to get some offensive firepower going here, man. I'm sick of these inaccurate balls by Sam Howell. Nice juke by Jahan. I was going to say a kick return touchdown would have been even better. But yeah, man, I mean, I think that the draft path is pretty clear. I think that uh, we are definitely going to go for the quarterback, J.J. Ford. And there's also a very good tight end in there as well. We're going to flip this play because I don't want anything to do with Micah Parsons or his side of the field. So let's see if we can get some good blocking for Robinson. We weren't really able to. He's having a kind of tough day at the office today. We're gonna go PA cross out of single back. This is not the X bunch nasty. So I am able to call this and we are gonna be looking for probably Jahan Dotson or Curtis Samuel, whoever decides to get open first. And it's Samuel again, he's playing so great. Samuel's got to be close to or over 100 yards by now, and he's at he's over 104, it said. And we haven't really looked Terry's way, and the reason that is is because the Cowboys have locked down corners on both sides of the field, and I'm not really in the business of testing them. Terry earns his bread and butter on those presses, 
beating his beating the corner, you know, instantly like that. And that's really not what I feel like doing against the Cowboys. Brian Robinson shut down for no gain on the play. See, like right now, even if Stephon Gilmore or uh, Trayvon Diggs was pressing Terry McLaurin, I probably wouldn't really look his way. We're going to go to John Bates, the tight end. Oh, God, that ball was bobbled. That was very scary. I might just play this safe and go for the field goal. I know that seems like not the best call, but we might just go uh, screen pass here because I really just want to get some points on the board. Maybe we can get the first down on a screen pass, but I'm not confident in Sam Howe's abilities to throw an accurate pass. So I'm kind of just playing for a 10 point lead here. Let's see if we can get this to Brian. We do. And he might actually have the blocking that he needs. Look at Brian. Look at Brian Robinson, not getting it done on the ground today, but making an impact in the passing game. Might have some slants working here, but I need Brian Robinson to block. Can we actually bring him over to Mar Micah Parsons side here? I think that we're going to do that. Most definitely need an extra blocker over there. Going to be looking for some slants in the middle of the field. There's Jahan Dotson able to hang on to a tough catch. And that's going to make it third and three. I am totally fine with a field goal here. We're going to put McLaurin on a slant because I want Leighton Vander Esch to kind of take him. Could have Diami Brown on the little drag route, but I don't really like any of it. Just throw it away. I'm taking the field goal. I do not even care because uh, we're coming away with some points here. We are coming. Oh, wow. The coach wants us to go for it. And this is actually one of the few times that I'm actually not going to listen to the coach. I want to go up two scores here. So let me be quiet so Joey Sly can nail this. Should be a good kick here. I know a controversial call. Probably should have went for that. Coach Smalls wanted us to go for it, but the real Smalls said no. Our defense is playing so good that I just want a little bit of a cushion to where we know Dak Prescott in this High-powered Cowboys offense can light it up at any given moment. So if they decide to do that on this drive, I just want a little bit of a cushion. We'll see what Dak does here. He hasn't really been able to get it going too much in this game. Going to be a fake to Pollard, actually. And there is a wide open Brandon Cooks, who has easily been his favorite target in this one. Cowboys are moving. They're past midfield now, and they're coming out single back with three wide receivers here so everything is on the table could be a run could be a pass could be anything could be a quarterback keeper it's gonna be a play fake and dd lamb's gonna burn us it was only a matter of time we know Dak prescott in this high-powered cowboys offense can light it up at any given moment now that field goal doesn't seem so dumb because we still have the lead but I knew it was only a matter of time before one of these receivers, Lamb, Gallup, Cooks, somebody, freaking Romeo Dobbs, who's randomly on this team now, somebody was going to score. They did on that. And now the pressure is all on the shoulders of Sam Howell as we really need to respond with a touchdown of our own. How about Jahan? How about Jahan? Does he have the speed? Jahan Dotson, can this be our first kick return? Oh my God, we were... We were uh, tracked down there by Sheldrick Redwine, former Cleveland Brown, too. I don't know how Jahan didn't have the speed, but that is, I'm fine with that. Great return by Jahan Dotson. And boy, howdy, Batman, did we really need that one. We really needed that one indeed. Um, so, can we get the running game going? That is all I really care about right now because I want Sam Howe to throw as little passes as possible. There's Robinson starting to get it going here. He's 13 for 33, so not really a good game, but that was a good one right there for a gain of 10. The question is, what do we do here? Because um, we don't really have, I don't really have any confidence in Sam Howe. About as little as possible. So we got to be really, really careful here. It's second and six. I'm okay with taking a field goal if that's what happens. Or maybe Samuel again. He gets it again. Back corner of the end zone. Wow. And now he's doing backflips and cartwheels. I am just in awe right now. Curtis Samuel. He is paying dividends after that big 
contract extension. Gotta watch these Cowboys though, man, because they just started to turn it up on the last drive, and we know they can do that in a heartbeat. There's gonna be Mercedes Lewis. First time we called his name, typically known for his blocking, getting involved in the passing game there. Dak is gonna be faced now with a second and 10. He is gonna come out empty. So we are gonna audible this into cover three. Hopefully our safety or corner can get over there in time. And Dak is looking, he's surveying, there's CeeDee Lamb. Now with his second big catch in the past couple of minutes, and that's gonna bring up a third and two. Key, third down. Last time, we kind of sold out to stop the run, and they beat us on a play action. So I am not going to be convinced this is a Tony Pollard run, but it will actually be a run to the fullback, Andy Janovich. What? What? No! 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 What? What? In the... What just happened? <laughs> There was like six Sentinels there. And then he had Adrian Peterson speed. And the fullback Andy Janovich, the eight-year pro, the former Cornhusker. Nebraska Cornhusker. I, I'm not surprised if the Cowboys scored on that drive. But I am very surprised that they scored with Andy Janovich on like a 40-yard run. All right. Passing yards is us, rushing yards is the Cowboys, but the only stat that matters is that score. And right now that is in favor of your St. Louis Sentinels. And I really, really hope that it can stay that way because we need a big victory. We're gonna go draw play to Brian Robinson. He has tons of space up the middle of the field. Brian picks it up, able to move the chains. And if we score here and can just drain a lot of this clock, I will feel very, very confident that we can come away with this dub. But a lot of work to do here. We still got nine and a half minutes to go, and a lot can happen. So let's just be smart and throw it away with Sam Howe. We're going to go with old reliable vertical verticals bunch shotgun with three wide receivers to the right. And uh, please just let me pick this up. I have a receiver. Can I get pass interference? or something, man. I know this song and dance. I've seen it too many times. We have to punt here. There's no doubt about that. We have to punt. And our defense has looked so good throughout the course of this one. Please check up or go out of bounds. It's gonna go into the end zone. And now all the pressure is on the defense. And it, But you know what? It's not because they've played so well in this one, even if they do. Even if they do allow the Cowboys to pick this up, they've still played great. It's the offense that cannot get anything going. And that's going to be, can we get a pick? Okay, break up. I'll take it. See what Prescott does here. Tight single back formation. Could be a run to Pollard. It will not be. It's going to be, oh my God, Mercedes Lewis. That's why he's a blocking tight end, ladies and gentlemen. That is why he is a blocking tight end because uh, he just dropped a wide open one there, and I'm sure he wishes he had that back. So here we go, guys. Here we go. Big third down. Third and 10. We're coming out dime. We're guessing pass. We're shading inside. We're doing all that lovely stuff. Where's Prescott going to go? Somebody get him. Oh, you got to be freaking kidding me. You got to be kidding me. I can't believe that, man. I remember my doctor told me about my blood pressure. I got to be careful with that. But, I mean, come on. Dak is just, I mean, he's looking like, I don't even know. Plug in a wide receiver that jukes a lot of people, or a running back that jukes a lot of people. Just plug him in. And I cannot believe that he picked that up on the ground himself. I can't believe it. Somebody please. And now Pollard is juking everybody. Oh, my God, man. We're going to lose this freaking game, and we've played so well against one of the best teams in Madden. Not over yet. Still eight minutes to go, but it's just like, and Deron Payne, oh, you're coming back. I don't care. You're coming back. Okay, we have a spy out this time. Got to have a spy out in this time. We're coming out in the dime, but we have a spy. So Dak Prescott, don't try any funny business, please. Nope, it's going to be a give. Oh, my. No, oh, that. It's all right. I'm not upset. I know it may seem like I'm upset, 
Because I am upset. We're sending heat. It's the only thing that we can possibly do. I feel like the Cowboys are going to pick this up no matter what. Yeah, because there's a wide open Brandon Cooks. And we're down in this game, man. We're down in this game. I am just beside myself right now. We have played so, so good. Well, half of the team has played good. The defense and Curtis Samuel. The defense and Curtis Samuel have played good. And Jahan Dotson on that kick return. But uh, I cannot believe we're down right now. Just let it bounce. I know Jahan had a good kick return earlier, but the last thing I want is some stupid fumble or something like that. I'm going screen again. I know I've been calling screen a lot this game, but again, it's that it's that confidence factor from Sam Howell and Jonathan Hankins is there. I mean, is this four down territory? Is this four down territory? I think it very well could be four down territory. I mean, we can't. We can't punt it back to the Cowboys in this situation. Of course, we definitely can't. Let's pick this up, boys. Please, Curtis is open again. Curtis, go. Curtis, go. Curtis, go. Oh, my God. Curtis Samuel is an animal. He is an animal. He is a savage. Let's try outside zone to Robinson. Need some good blockers to make this work. And he fumbled it. And the Cowboys got it. Can we get a booth review, please? Brian has uh, multiple fumbles on this season. He's got to be down, right? He's got to be down, right? I'm so scared right now. Give me a booth review. You got to give me a booth review. We don't get it. Wow. We don't get it. And uh, that's probably going to be game, I would imagine. Especially if Brandon Cooks is doing stuff like that. We played extremely extremely well in this one and we're probably gonna drop and it's because of some bs i'm sorry it's because it's definitely because of some bs there's michael gallup again i think madden just decided that the cowboys should win <laughs> i mean it's their favorite team what i don't know if that's accurate or not but uh, i think i think the that madden said no the cowboys are losing that can't happen we need to make sure they don't lose. Check down to Gallup. Nice tackle there by Kendall Fuller. And again, maybe we hold him to a field goal or something like that. We can come back and tie the game and force OT. But I'm a little deflated right now. I got to be honest with you. I'm a little deflated. Going to be a give to Pollard. He's going to score. Let him at this point. And uh, yep. 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 Now they're doing toe taps, whatever that move is called. I don't know. What do you do in this situation? We're down 11 now, and all hope is kind of just going out the window, you know? Um, there's Jahan Dotson leading it out there. Jahan's still going, okay? I mean, that was definitely a good start for sure. And But we got to score a touchdown here. We got to score a touchdown. I know we could, you know, kick a field goal and then go for the two-point conversion, but no. And we're going to streak Terry. We have not looked to do that too much in this game. And this is it right here. Come on. Come on, Sam. What the fuck is this? I don't know. You suck. Sam Howe sucks. Have I told you all that recently? We had Terry there, man. Come on. Get it to Logan Thomas, please. Oh, Logan caught that. Wow. Oh, my God. Yeah, I know it says 318 yards, okay? It's freaking Madden. It's easy to get yards with quarterbacks. Sam Howe sucks. He's terrible. He is legitimately terrible. We're going to put Curtis Samuel. No, we're going to streak Samuel. As a matter of fact, we're going to put Terry McLaurin on a drag, and then maybe we'll have one of these verts hitting. Uh, we're just going to give Samuel a chance. He's balled out. Give the man a chance. Oh, he almost caught that. Wow. Wow. <laughs> He almost caught that. Got a double team. Micah Parsons here. Could have Antonio Gibson on this Texas route if we have time. That's the big question. We do. Antonio, get in. Get in. Get in. He actually did get in. Oh, my God. This game is not over yet. This game is not over yet. He's playing the violin. I don't know why. Uh, because we're still going to have to stop the Cowboys. We got all three timeouts. They want us to go for two. And, yes, we will. We will do... 
Why stick to McClure? Game is not over. It's definitely not over at all. Let's pick this up, please. Oh, he's so open. He's so open. There's Terry. Okay, so defense. Where are you at? Game is not over. We have all three timeouts and the two-minute warning, but it is going to be tough. It is going to be tough indeed. It's definitely going to be tough, but we can do it. I'm confident. Please, let's get Tony Pollard. Someone tackle him. Well, that is not a good start. Now they're actually coming out in their gun formation. Very interesting. So we'll see if maybe... The Madden gods are smiling on me today. Well, if somebody... I freaking give up, man. I just... This is tough. This is tough. This game is ripping my heart out, stepping on it, putting it back into my body, ripping it out again, and then throwing it away. That That is what is happening in this game. It's... <laughs> We had this one in the bag. I am impressed with my performance. And at this point, let Pollard score. I mean, screw it. It's going to make our stats look worse, but at least we'll get the ball back and maybe we can attempt something crazy. And I can't. This is why we have the worst defense, man. We shut the Cowboys out in the first half. Remember that. We shut the Cowboys out in the first half. They have 35 points. And I've done nothing different. I've done nothing different in this game. It's it's just, this is literally how this game works. This game hates me. This game hates me. I'm convinced. I'm convinced that this game hates me. We're going to go to Gibson. Almost had it. Dropped it. Yep. Very good. All right, man. Need a miracle and a lot of crack cocaine to pull this one off. I don't have any crack cocaine, so we're looking for the miracle. And it was almost picked off. Great. All we're doing at this point is just trying anything. Anything and everything. Um, Lo Logan Thomas or D Jahan Dotson. Wow, that was a terrible pass by Sam Howell. We're going to hurry up to the line here. Game is not over, but that was such a bad pass by Sam Howell. And somehow, some way... Terry, I need you to just go get this, please. Again, again, again. We had a shot. Sam Howell just missed him. Logan Thomas, we're going to streak him. Maybe he can get open, which I don't think he's going to, but somebody is. And let's, yeah, let's just throw it out of bounds to the cameraman. I, Sam is done. He, he's gone after this season. He is gone after this season. I don't care. If he was leading the league in passing yards to start, I don't care about any of that. He's gone after this season. Logan Thomas. Okay. There we go, baby. Hurry up to the line. We're not using. We haven't used any timeouts yet, mind you. We haven't used not a singular timeout. And I hate this play call that I just called, but I don't know what to do at this point. We just got to try anything. Terry. Back of the end zone. He caught it. Oh, my God. Okay. Back of the end zone, he caught it. Wow. <laughs> if nothing else, we're making this interesting. Okay, we're going to have to go for the onside kick. I mean, most definitely. We're going to have to go for the onside kick. But if anything, we made this game interesting. Should we go onside strong, onside kick, speed onside? I don't know. Speed, I guess, was the way to go. And should we go high kick? I know it's got to travel at least 10 yards. Oh, I don't feel confident that we're going to make this at all. So come on, just show me. S what in fuck's name are you doing? Wow. <laughs> that was so bad. And just pouring salt on the wound. Namaste. I appreciate your guys' time today. Thank you. That was another episode of Smalls Gets Reamed by the Madden CPU. 35-32. Scoreboard makes it look, well, it was a close game. I mean, but I just can't figure it out, man. This, this team is such an anomaly. It's so weird. We have, you know, almost every game, we, we defense plays great in the first half. We shut teams out, hold them to seven, hold them to three, and we see the end scoreboard at 35. Also, Mike McCarthy with some hips. Those hips were made for walking. That's for sure. Those hips don't lie. 
Mike. But we see teams do that all the time. And then we see Sam, yeah, with these, look at his stats, 418 yards, four touchdowns, two picks. But the game was literally lost because of the completions, because he was so inaccurate. I don't care if he has all these yards and he was even pretty good on the touchdown interception ratio, but the game was lost on certain key plays that he can't convert. Brian Robinson didn't do jack for the most part. Tony Pollard killed us. That was probably the game right there. And But receiving, here's the big story. Curtis Samuel got paid. How does he pay it off? Eight receptions, 180 yards, and two touchdowns. And then do not forget, these all came at the beginning stages of the game. But Deron Payne with three sacks. Three sacks. I mean, that's that's good. That's great. I could have swore we had one more sack, but I guess they didn't give it cre give us credit for it. But man, after a game like that, where we were in it and controlled it and had the lead most of the game, and it just came down really, I feel like, to Sam Howell not being accurate. Again, I don't care. He had 418 yards. Great. That's awesome. Good job. You might be le leading the league in passing yards upgrade for deron payne yeah i would sure say so he deserves about two upgrades for the performance that he put on and part of me wants to go run stopper but um block shed tackle pursuit power moves i'm gonna go power rusher i'm gonna go power rusher because i need deron payne to get some more sacks that should get power moves up which it does and block shedding too so that still will help in the run game as well your team leader has some thoughts on the previous game yeah you know what i do have some thoughts on the game but let me not share those because you guys probably don't want to hear what i have to say so let's see what coach smalls says i didn't think the short week would affect us that much but clearly it did and we didn't get the job done no you guys did get the job done logan thomas did not get the job done and then the defense kind of they fizzled out there in the last quarter but what do you expect man we kept putting them on the field, kept putting them on the field. And now we're last place in the NFC East. And this season is slowly starting to slip away. We also got two injuries. So that's awesome. Who's it going to be? Andrew Wiley out four weeks. Great. Needs some more offensive linemen to go down. That is awesome. And then also Shadiq, Sadiq Charles, left guard. He's gone too. So we basically have no offensive line. And we are getting ready to play another very tough game next week at the Miami Dolphins. So season is not over, but man, oh man, is it slipping away. And now it's like, do we want to win and try to make the playoffs? Or do we want to have a bad record so we can try to, you know, get some of those high draft picks for JJ Ford and Paul Logan, the tight end. Of course, I'm never going to throw a game. That is not in my DNA. But you start to wonder. I mean, we're last place in the division We've, we've lost now, what, three in a row? Three in a row, right? So it's like, you start to think. A worse record would be a high draft pick, and I am now clear that my path in this franchise does not involve Sam Howe. But anyways, I still had fun. Yes, somehow I did. I hope you guys did too. That is going to do it for me tonight, as always. I appreciate you stopping by. I will catch you on the next one. Until then, peace.